Hey there, everybody. Welcome back. It's it's a me. I don't know why I was saying it like I was doing a new playthrough. So, all right. Uh, here's what happened. So, earlier today, oops, I recorded an hour's worth of footage. And as you can tell, we are not where we were supposed to be because there was an audio issue in my headset that made the commentary pretty much unusable, which effectively made the last two episodes I recorded unusable. Now, I still have the footage. I can tell you, I'm going to give you a synopsis of what happened. Um, but what I'm going to tell you, but what I can do, if people want, you guys can let me know if you want, if you want to see this or not. I can try and see if I can get to where I could re-record the commentary, but there's it's just going to be me talking. There's no way I can take out the commentary and just leave the the gameplay music. I mean, if I if I put up those vids, it's going to be 30 minutes of me just talking with silence, and I don't know if that's going to be interesting or if anybody's going to want to see that. So if you do, let me know and I'll work on it. Um, so the first 30 minutes is effectively, I went through the whale cave. And upon going through the whale cave, I we found the, the stone doll. We fought the stone doll. Well, first of all, my character died, had to make my way all the way back out to heal, switched out cat, not cat, switched out um, Bo for Stead because Bo had reached level 17 or 16, 17, something like that. Put Stead in, we went all the way back, fought the um, the doll and after I fought the doll, I had to go all the way back to the Adam's apple, hit the Adam's apple, and then it awoke the the whale cave shook and everything, and then it, the whale came alive. Grandpa, Grandpa's alive and well. And when we left, they dropped us off at that um, that beach where the old man was. Well, the old man gave us a bell where we can now with the bell summon a whale and we can move around everywhere if we want and we can hit this button and you can see all the places I've been and everything I feel like there should have been more, but who knows? So we need to find also the um, dolphins were telling us about that Grandpa could take us to Toonlin, where there's a carnival or a fair or whatever. Anyway, that that where the tent is, where the grass man is. So that's our next objective. Also, what we did was we had found in doing this, we went back to our we went back to our little village here and we checked around. We have one new villager, which was is McLean. He's the guy that was on that beach. I don't know. Wait, did we see that? I don't know if we saw that. Yes, did we see it? Yes, we did. Maybe. I think we did. Anyway, if you did see him, we, there was a guy on that beach. We talked to him. We got what we needed. There is also another... I will show this, this little interesting tidbit again, just in case I don't upload it. I need to figure out where I was going, though. Um... Where was it? It was kind of like up at the top. So let's go down this way. 
there was a house on an island. And in that house was an interesting character. Or characters. Is this the house? It's a different island. I think the island was up at the top. Huh. It's eventually going to cycle around. Kind of hope so. There it is. It's that one right at the, at the top. So, in this, on this little island, there's this home. And in this home is an interesting couple of characters. And we have... I was plowing this land and found a shining rock. When you hold the rock in your hands, you can see the bones. Isn't it strange? And then we have this guy. What? You think you know us? You must be mistaken. I don't know you. It's Karn and Bo from the first game. Now, interesting enough, Karn in the first game was supposed to have dark skin like this. He just didn't. But that is how he's originally supposed to look. So we have Bo and Karn out here, but the the funny thing about this is the island itself. And I demonstrated this on the thing, but I will demonstrate it again. Even though it's kind of cheating, we'll see what happens. We're going to get into a battle. And there it is. This this whole island is full of fights with giant enemies that can give a bunch of experience. Um Well, it killed me in one shot, so we're probably dead. And if we're dead, that's fine. I'll just... I'll restart. But, um... Let's see. Let's see if I can get him alive. Nope! Okay, we're dead. <laughs> so... Basically... You kill one of these guys, big things, you get a crap ton of experience, and y you win. Um, so that was one of these places, and with that, give me just a second, I need to reload my save. We're back here, and with that, we also... Um, so, if you go into the magic school, on the second floor, there's a girl that you talk to. And when you talk to the girl, she says something like, Oh, it was different um, when I was younger. Uh, this magic was different when I was younger. So, I think you saw me talk to her way at the beginning. Well, what you do then is there is a spot um, south of a certain area, which we go to eventually... And there's this circle. You go into the circle, you find these three ghosts. You talk to the ghosts, and they say, Oh, well, so-and-so has, has, is gone. So-and-so is ir being irresponsible. Well, you go back to the magic school, talk to that same girl, and that girl goes, Oh, I don't, I don't want to learn any of this stuff from these people. I'm better learning on it on my own. I'm going to go with you now. And she forces herself into your party. And that person is... This character, who is Blue from the first game, and she's level 35. <laughs> she has 199 health, 182 AP, and she won't level up for like ever. But she has all the power up spell, all the up spells, all the down spells sap, drain, warp, flame, um. S boom bomb. 
She's she's got a de she's got a bunch of good spells. She's basically a better Nina. <laughs> and not only that, she has What was I looking at? Oh, I thought she had more strength than that, or it was more attack. 74. Anyway, she still does a decent amount of damage. So we have blue. Now, the next thing I needed to do, or basically my next story beat, is to go to Toonlin and get the Grass Man. However, I do not remember where Toonlin is. Which is bad for me. Now... Toonlin may be... What's that blue... Oh, what are those blue things? Oh, those are signs. Um, Toonlin, I thought, was in the water somewhere. Which it may be... That... It may be somewhere over there. Toonlin in the first game was just on an island. And I, it was an island kind of shaped like this. But there's no little thing on it. So I'm assuming it's not. Let me... I doubt it is. No, this is Mount Maori. And I think we go to there eventually. There's like a ton of things we could do now, now, if we wanted. But I think getting, going to Toonlin is probably the best idea. I just don't remember where Toonlin is. Oh yeah, this is, and... We're going to have to go all the way over this way, because there's Gate. So we're eventually going to have to make our way over here. So, yeah, if you want me to try and get that footage out, like, it'll just be me talking over the stuff I had already recorded, but there won't be any commentary. I, I, I apologize. But they're just, they're, they're, I mean, there won't be any um, in-game sounds and stuff. There'll be commentary, my bad. There'll be just my commentary. If, if it's not a big deal, then you, you guys really didn't miss much, par se. Um, you kind of just missed the inside of the whale. Not a huge loss. I was so kind of like over it when I saw that it got messed up that I really didn't go looking for Toonlin too much. Is that it? So right now I'm just kind of looking around, trying to see if I can find it. What is this? Oh, this is Guns! So this is essentially the lands from the first game. Because there was Gants and Gunts in the first game. That is expensive crap. That is very expensive, but very good. That armor is amazing. I will never be able to afford that. Yeah, because there's the the little save spot. And then we have an item. I'm just looking around at places now. I may want to put my money away just in case we die, but... Shaved ice? Frisbee? F-spice? Oh, I do need to pick up some more of these. So that's... 40...
45? Yeah. Nope, didn't want to use. So, two, okay, so this is an inn. Toonland should be somewhere around here, if I remember correctly. But then again, there's no telling where they put it in this in in this game. Hello, old man. So Kara Shinj Kara Shini Kofu thinks he likes all kinds of weapons. There was an old man uh Another Tolan. Do I have two on me? Can't remember how mad I got when I... No, I only have one on me. Nope, two. So I can actually... I forgot that I can do the the game with the guy now. The, the guy that's in my town. I can do the game to try and get some sweet weapons and armor. We may do that. We may go back and do that. But at first I want to find Tenlin so I can just have it. That way I can teleport, because now I should be able to using... Oh, I can't use warp here. Using warp, I should be able to come back here. So... Yep. So it's nice being able to come back here when we can. I keep hitting the wrong buttons. Um, I really don't know where else to look, quite honestly. I figure if we found the, uh, when we find the island with it on there, with, with it, it would be, you would see the 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 tent the little tent thing but that's just me wandering around trying to find it and I know that's not very entertaining so I may pause it until I can find Toon Lan. And then figure out where we go from there. So that's all broken up. Yeah, I'm going to go ahead and pause it and see if I can find it. And if I can... I mean, I'm going to have to. It's not a matter of if. So I will come back when I find it and I'll show you where it was. All right, I found it. It's right here. And it took me a while circling around to find... It was literally just above where Gantz is. It's literally just above it. it. Took me a while to find it. But what I want to do now is I want to do something else real quick. I want to... Actually, I'll use his magic because his doesn't matter. I want to go back to hometown. And I want to pick up a guy. Um, some of the tent, like, there's a lot of tenants you can pick for your your little town. Um, a lot of them don't really do anything. Uh, I gotta remember where this dude is. Um... Some guys don't do anything. A lot of them don't really add much. Um, I'm looking for a guy somewhere in this town. Because he will join... He'll come to our town. And then from there, we'll have three... Um, no, he's not in here. We'll have three tenants. 
And from there, we can expand our village. Mm. Yeah, I know of it. It's, it's kind of mine. This guy's another armor, armory guy. He doesn't... He gives some good stuff, but you find it other places. But this one, there's really not that many good options for this guy. I have to find him first. Maybe he's in the guild thing. That's the guy that's just like, I just like to watch. And then we're going to go back to our town really quick. And I will... Yeah, he was a tent at the carnival. Okay. There, I will, I will restart this when I find the guy. Give me a second. I changed my mind. We're not getting that guy. We're going to get this guy. We're going to get Pooh. We're going to give you a house. Yes. The, uh, the first... The first, uh, like, house is really not that important. What cleaned is good, uh, but not really super important either. Now, Beretta, she's like the most important one out of the first three houses. So now we're going to go from here. We're going to go to our little town place and kick into gear the next set of things to happen. All right, so now that we... Do I talk to this dude again? Hopefully he doesn't make me play the game. Actually, I'm going to go save it just in case. <laughs> Alright. Um, it's a little embarrassing, but I have a hobby of collecting interesting yeah, equipment. I wanted a room to display my collection. You've been very kind to me, so I can give you a very special collection. I must have entertainment, so I had a little fun. Uh, no... Okay. I was hoping maybe he was supposed to He was supposed to expand my village. And he didn't. Yikes. Well, since we're here, we might as well try and... Get the weapon? I don't know how this works. I guess we'll figure out how this works. But I want to make sure I do it correctly. Um... Wait, will you expand the village now? Oh, the population has increased and the town is lively now. Should we make the town a little bigger? Can I say no and then it'll be fine? Okay, okay. <clears throat> uh, nothing. Okay, so... We can have him expand after we do the game. That's good to know. All right, let's 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 take a gander at this game. So what we want to do is he we give him one of the, the medals and he just throws it randomly in one of the squares. Well, if you're... And then once you get a metal sandwich diagonally, vertically, or horizontally between items, you get those items. So basically what I want, like say I want the sword and that helmet, I would want it to go in either the, the top left corner and the bottom right corner and I could get those two items. However, he throws them in random, random places. So now this next throw... 
What I could hope is that he throws it right on right by the helmet. And then I get both of those items. So let's see what happens. See, that one's kind of a meh. A meh. Since I should have saved it. Because there's nothing wedged between the two, so I just wasted two. I could have him throw another medal, but you only get 12 medals through the entire thing, and you can technically make a sweep with only eight of the medals instead of 12. Because the upstairs has more items too. Now there's only really rare items in one on this floor, one on the second floor. The rare item on this floor is the sword. So I kind of want that, and I don't want to waste another token because I only have three. So... Huh. I will load up my save and I'll see if I can get it. And if I do, I'll show you what happens. You have no idea how long that took me to get those like that. <laughs> took a very long time. So we're gonna... I'll, I will take it. I got the sword. I'll take it. So we get... Um, I'll give you what... So, so we have weapon... I assume that's like one and two? I don't know. And then weapon two. So we got weapon one and weapon two. So now to get the other two, I would need two more and just basically underneath those two to get those other two prizes. However, I only have one more in the bank. So I got a tiger sword and a Lop, a lop, a lop off, a lop, a lop of, a lop of, a we've got that. Um, we have... Oh, jeez! Uh, okay, um... Okay. Alright, well, I'll take it, I guess. Um... And I have other items. So we, are, we have a lot of attack power now. Uh, so now, we're, since we don't have any more Tolans or medals, uh, yeah, we'll go ahead and expand the town now. What? What? He took a thousand of my gold? He did. Okay. So I come back in a little bit to see the difference. I am going to save it right now that I've done that. Yes. However, what I want to do is I think maybe if I go in here it's considered like an automatic rest, I think. So let's go with Bo, John, and Blue. I like parallel for some reason. I just like that stance. So they're not in my group. I'm just wondering if they are now fully healed. They are. Okay. Because I used up a lot of John's MP. Not that it matters. Using up a lot of his AP. So now we're going to head to Toon Land. Which is... To the left. Over... Wrong button. Just straight left from here. And we'll go into Toon Land. And we'll check it out. 
Now that I probably don't need a weapon for, like, ever on my character. Well, let's see. We have a Dynafung. He's a... F Wait, what? It didn't save my... <laughs> well, okay, that didn't... Didn't really phase it. Now, her ability is actually really neat. Because... Her shit ability gives her back all of her HP. Also, she has another ability, which is not really all that useful. Her outside of combat ability is that, which now I can't pick it up. Well, okay. That's all it does. Anyway, it turns that stuff into charcoal, which you don't really need unless you're you have someone who can make stuff. So now we have that, but now we're in Toonland! Oh... We need a tone, I forgot. Or... What was it called in the uh, first game? The Ma Maestro? Forgot, we don't have one of those. 50 gold of night, yes. I don't think we have that much time left, unfortunately. Actually, we don't have any time left, so when we come back, we will, uh... We will... My brain... We will check around Tunlin, even though we can't do anything, and we'll go check out the carnival to see if we can pick up our... our friend who needs our help, or the grass man. Till then, you all take care, and of course, have a good one.